Rebel Canners teaching all kinds of food preservation, including the old ways. If you like our content, please share it to your other social media. It would really help our channel grow. This recipe makes four half pints. Sanitize your jars and lid. You'll want to have some boiling water ready to make your flour tea. You want to pick at least one quart of the flower heads. As with anything you forage, make sure you are able to identify it correctly. One of the things I look for with wild sweet violets is the heart-shaped leaves. If you're picking one quart of flower heads, you want to cover them with at least four cups of boiling water. Welcome back, Rebel Canners. Today we're going to make violet jelly. And I have picked these little wild violets. These are the sweet violet. It is a wild one that we have here. It is not your African violet potted plant that Grandma keeps in her window. So with all forage foods, make sure that you know exactly what you're picking and that it is for sure edible, okay? But we call this the sweet violet. It's a little woodland violet. And I have picked about a half gallon of the flowers here. And I've tried to get as much of the green off as possible. Um, it's not necessary to take it off. I just like it better without it. So I've got it in this gallon jar. I'm gonna fill my water up to up just above the level of the flowers to make my tea. Uh, I don't want it too watered down because I want the flavor of the flowers. So just above the flowers with my boiling water and then I'm going to let it set up to 24 hours before I make my jelly from it and strain out all the flowers for my, with my tea. So the first step in wildflower jelly is always to make your tea. So got the water over here boiling and as soon as it comes to a boil we're gonna make our tea. Okay. And look how the violets start to turn the tea an unexpected color, really pretty. So I'm just gonna keep pouring some water in here and uh, getting all those violets down with the water. Just kind of push down on my flowers, get them all submerged underneath the water there. So that all of them make into tea and then I'm just going to put this lid on and I'm just going to let it set and when it cools I'm going to put it in the refrigerator overnight and then tomorrow I can make violet jelly. I just love violet jelly is so magical. You know it starts out with purple flowers you get almost a blue tea out of it and then you add your lemon juice and something magical happens and your jelly turns a beautiful lovely color. So here we go. We'll just wait now for it to set. Strain and measure out four cups of your tea. To your flour tea, you add one tablespoon lemon juice. You'll want seven cups of sugar. You'll want a package of pectin, which is eight tablespoons and go ahead and prepare as you would any other jelly. I also like to make this as a syrup. It makes a great spread on toast in the morning. And as you can see, I don't know if that pink color really shows or not, that is violet syrup, perfect for we use it at our house for colds and coughs. Um, it is very mild, very uh, tiny person friendly, I feel. You do your own research, but there you have it. That beautiful 
purple color turns into a very beautiful pink color. I'm not really sure if you can see it. I don't think this light does it well, but it is absolutely beautiful and that's what it's turned into. Like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. And check out these other videos.